Hey guys, this is Jason with JDation Designer and today I'm going to do a walkthrough of building one of our double decker uh, mounting kits. So as a reminder, this is what our designer allows you to kind of lay out all of your components and what I've done is I've actually printed out here in full size um, the design that I've made. You can kind of see, I'm just going to lay these components. What I'm trying to do here is I'm putting this falcon here and then I'm going to have this expansion board here. Uh, I'm going to have, you know, power supplies here, um, but you can see kind of in this, what I did here is I, I first kind of laid this out, I printed it in real time, in, to scale, I kind of laid out my components and then I figured out where I wanted to make a few adjustments. So, let's just say that I have now got my design where I wanted it and then, in this case, I have used the Jadiation Fabrication Service. And what came in the mail was this, which should be an exact duplication uh, of my design. I've also got our Jadiation uh, hardware kit, which contains all the components we need to do the assembly. And so today what I'm going to show you is how to do the assembly on this thing. So one thing you'll notice is there's a lot of holes in things. Um, you will see, like on, for example, on this, which aligns perfectly over here, um, it tells you that this is where the number eight four inch bolt goes. It tells you that this is where the number six 10 inch bolt goes. So you use this as generally your instructions for assembling this. So I'm gonna kind of just set this off camera here so I can um, remember what I'm doing and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started and build this and we will probably do a lot of fast forwarding on this because it's gonna take me a little while. Um, but we'll go from there. Inside of this hardware kit, I've got a little bag of screws separated. This is for the uh, number 10 screws. We've got some spacers, we've got some bolts. We should have everything we need here to build our kit. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove this. This is acrylic and it's got this paper backing. Um, it, assuming you don't want the paper backing, which I don't, um, you wanna go ahead and remove it now because trust me, it is infinitely easier to do it now than it is to do it later. Okay, so now I have them unwrapped. First thing I'm going to do here is we are going to go ahead and build the bottom plates. Set that out of the way a little bit here. And when you're building these, you wanna do, and this shows, we have detailed instructions online that show this, um, but essentially you wanna do bolt, washer, plexi, washer, nut. Flip this over and we're going to tighten them up and you really, you don't need to do this tight. Um, you just kind of want them screwdriver tight, no need to get a wrench on the other side and really crank this. You can break the plexiglass um, if you do this too tight. So you want it just tight enough that it's not going to come loose, but not too tight. And we provide these, these they're called K, these are called K-nut locking nuts, and I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's just got a little, um, little washer, there you go, you can kind of see it. It kind of helps hold it in place. All right, so we've got our long ones in. Now, according to the instructions, if I look at this real quick, next instructions say that I should do these number eight bolts. Uh, so we just kind of finish the same thing, exactly the same thing we did a second ago, but just putting these in. All right, so now we have all of our major bolts in place and we will start adding some components to this design next. So next, looking at our design, um, I've got a fan here in the bottom. 
Um, I've actually cut a fan here. I don't think I'm gonna actually put a fan there. Uh, I've got a wire clamp here and I've got a uh, fuse holder that goes right here. So I think that's what we are going to put in next. I'm gonna cut, trim this off a little bit. It's a little too long. Okay, I've got that piece in now. Next, let's go ahead and we will put this piece right here. So one thing I wanna mention is that the screws for it bolts for these components do not come with the kit. Um, it would just be impossible to know exactly what all you need. Um, so just like if for this fan, for example, I had to acquire these outside of the Jadiation kit. Um, these are some just M4 uh, screws that I had to acquire outside of the kit as well. Um, and so it's just, and again, it's just, it would be impossible for me to supply all the possible hardware requirements. But in the kit, you do get everything you need to, as to assemble the acrylic, get it mounted to the enclosure, everything like that. For the design I've done here, I'm actually gonna have my power come from underneath. So I'm putting this in. Next, we are going to get our power supplies ready. So just set this aside for a second. Grab one of the power supplies. And the way this works is there's two types of potential uh, mounting pieces. You, this is the standard one that comes with all of the kits. You can also upgrade to these, which allow you to do an offset design, which I'm gonna show here in a second as well. Um, so these just screw together, coming with these M4 screws that do, these screws do come with the hardware kit. These attach right on here like this. Okay, and off camera, I've done this four times over. And so what we do next is these just slide right on here. And this slides right on on top. And so what you see here is that you, you've you got, what with those special, with these here, if you wanna go with this upgraded one, it allows you to do an offset uh, power supply so that you can get not necessary, otherwise they just stack right on top of each other, but it's just an option for you. So what we have to do though, because we're not actually done yet, what we need to do here is we need to add our spacers. Because what we wanna be able to do is vary how much space we want between the power slot supplies to allow for plenty of ventilation. So I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not gonna leave a ton, I think I'm gonna leave about that much. There. Save that piece, we're gonna need it in a second. And then I'm just gonna cut a bunch of these. I guess I should have saved one. Oh, it's long. It's for the six inch bolts on the outside. All these spacers do come with your kit. With the hardware kit, I mean. And the hardware kit is also totally optional. Um, you don't have to have the hardware kit. You can source all this stuff yourself. Okay, and then what happens is, you do not need a washer for this. These just allow these go right here and holds the whole thing nice and secure okay and I mean these things literally oh you're hearing that rattle but there is no movement those things are not moving at all so continuing down the line we will do now the other side
Okay, and there you have it. And once again, this thing is extremely, extremely secure. This isn't going anywhere. So next, we need to build the top plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually set this aside for one second. So for our top kit, our top plate, we have the Falcon here, we have the expansion board here. Um, I'm using a little CFOL power distro here. And let's go ahead and get started. Remember, this is our instructions. So it should, if I lay this on top, see, notice it is perfectly cut. And we start off by just doing some standoffs. So Okay, so now we have all of our standoffs in. Next thing we are going to do is simply put in our equipment. Again, looking at my design here, it looks like I've got the Falcon that's gonna go there. And I have this that's gonna go there. So go ahead and put those in. And just from an orientation perspective, make sure that's right. Yes, it's just like that. Okay, so now we have all those in. I believe the way we had this intended, let's see if my game plan works out, was this was gonna go through here. Yes, that actually works out pretty darn well. So now I'm gonna, in the back, I'm gonna fold that over and zip tie it down a little bit. So it'll be just like that. So that is our top plate all wired up or all with all the boards in place. So the final step is to attach our top plate. And these spacers go on like this. Again, you can trim these spacers down and to make this top plate however tall you want. I'm just gonna leave them full for now. And then what should happen here. So slide right on in there. And there you go. There's our kit, fully assembled. Let's see if you can get a good view of that there, so you can see how this works. And then the only thing left to do is to install this into our box and then wire it up. And you can't see it with this angle, but they attach with these screws. I think what the, would be the best thing to do is actually to take this off first, and then I think you'll be able to see it. Plus, it would probably make it a lot easier. But in the corners here, I'm not sure. You, I'm sure you can't see that. Um, in the corners here, there are little holes that this just screws into. And it actually just screws into the material itself. These go on all four corners. And, and of course this falls right back into place. Once you've got it screwed in, and voila, you are done. I'm gonna make another video here in a bit that shows me wiring all of this stuff up. But ultimately, this is how you assemble using the Jadiation designs. Uh, this, this serves for all of our double-decker mounting plates. We have many different designs. This one that I just showed you is for the, this is the ACR8 
72 ammo crate, but we have designs for pretty much the entire MTM series of mounting play, uh, mounting uh, ammo crates. We have kits for the bud box. We have CG1500 double decker kits. We have a, a ton of double, a full line of, of kits for various uh, enclosures. You can build this entire thing in here. Here I've, I've had these fabricated with acrylic, but we tell you how to create cut templates. Basically, this is a cut template and you just glue this to some wood and use your jigsaw and you can actually cut out these acrylic plates yourself. Um, you do not need to, these are completely DIY if you want them to be DIY. So please, go to our website, jdation.com, um, take a look around, check out all of our designs, and, and please, please, please like our Facebook page. We have all kinds of new information coming out almost daily, and that's how you stay in tune with all of our uh, latest happenings. Jdation.com is our website. And this is the JDation Designer. Thank you.